Hey everyone, Digital Greg here with SyncFluorSync.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a digital dive log. It's easy to do and all you need is a computer and a Gmail account. First, log into your Gmail account. Then enter Google Drive, click on New, More, and then Google Forms. Click on Untitled Form to give your dive log a name. And now the first question. Let's make this dive number. We're going to make it a text field. Let's go city state. Let's make it a text field. That's required. Let's go to dive site, text field, and let's make this required. Visibility. Let's make it a text field that's required. Max depth. Let's make it a text field that's required. Air temperature, text field that's required. Let's go with water temperature. Let's make it a text field that's required. Dive time, let's make it a text field that's required. water type. Now let's make this one multiple choice. We'll go with salt water, uh, fresh water, and uh, brackish water. Let's make this a required field. Entry, beach, dive or a boat dive and let's make this required tank aluminum steel and let's make it required tank size Let's make this multiple choice. And we'll go with 80, 100, we'll make it required. Start pressure. Let's make it a text field that's required. End pressure. Let's make it a text field that's required. Air type. Let's make it multiple choice and we'll go with air. Uh, nitrox 32%. Nitrox 34, sorry, 36%. And other. And let's make it required. Weights. For this field, I like making it from choosing from a list and put in the uh, weights that you usually use. So here I'll just throw in a bunch of numbers. And let's make it a required field. Let's go with dive suit. Let's make it a list. And we'll go with rash guard. Three mil wetsuit. And a five, my seven five suit. Required. 
Was this a repeat dive? Let's make a multiple choice. No and yes. Let's go dive buddy. Let's make it a text field. We're almost done. A comment about the dive. Let's make this a paragraph field and let's click done. And now let's click live form on the top of the screen to see what this form is going to look like. It's going to look a bit boring, but you are able to design it and change different colors and put graphics onto it. So I'm going to fill this out real quick and then we're also going to fill it out on mobile and you'll see how it gets logged. Submit. Now on the top, click view responses to see your dive log. Now select column A for the trick I mentioned earlier on how to automatically log dates. On top, click format, numbers, date. And there you go. Now the dates will populate automatically. And here it is, your own digital dive log. Now save the link to the log and the form to your phone so it's easy to find. We're now going to switch to mobile and fill out a dive log. I'm going to fill out the mobile form and speed up the video so I don't bore you guys. Submit. Now click on the link to your dive log, and here you go. We just filled out a dive log on mobile and on the computer. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this digital dive log tutorial. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it as clearly as I can. Take care and dive safe.